So, I've seen on Instagram recently a lot of people using these new paths um, which have been created by Colin Crossing. And let's just say, um, I have become a big slag for Colin Crossing and I am in love with all of his new paths. So if you have seen either of my two most recent speed builds, you might have heard that I am in fact a self-confessed slag for Colin Crossing. In my last speed build video, I did in fact call myself a slag for Colin Crossing and I stand by that. So today we are going on a whistle stop tour of my unfinished autumn Colin Crossing core, town core, cozy island. I am so excited. Friends, today I come before you with sad tidings because today I am officially breaking up with Colin Crossing. So yes, hello everyone. The rumors are true. I am breaking up with Colin Crossing. I of course only mean in Animal Crossing. I do not know Colin in real life, but I am just not gonna be using his paths on my island anymore. And I thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit about why that is today. But before we get into all of this, if this is your first time stumbling across our little corner of the internet, hello there, my name is Yasmin. We talk about and play Animal Crossing, The Sims, and and other life simulator games so if that sounds like something you can get down with perhaps consider subscribing so you can keep up with all the fun that we get up to so i'm gonna be talking a little bit kind of off the cuff today and it has been a long time since i've done this a good couple of months so if i'm umming and ahhing a little bit i'm gonna try my best to avoid that um but yeah i feel like today i just want to generally give you guys an update on what's happening in my life but predominantly on my island at the moment and this is coming especially in the wake of my video which I put out last week where I talked fairly extensively about my ongoing experience with Animal Crossing burnout. Um, that is a video which I am super proud of. I put loads of time into researching and everything for that so if you didn't catch it maybe go back and check it out after this video. And it was kind of that video which has really spurred on what I'm going to be talking about today um, because I was watching a lot of videos on Animal Crossing which funnily enough is something which I do not do all that often. Again I don't know if that is just something to do with the burnout or what but I personally just don't really consume that much Animal Crossing content anymore. But anyway, again, while I was researching for that video, I saw a lot of people's islands and not just, you know, really aesthetic, beautiful islands, but more just regular islands. And I'm not saying that in a bad way at all, um, but it was just something which I realized I wasn't very used to seeing anymore, but something which really hit me hard in the nostalgia bones, you know? And it really got me thinking back to the start of the game when you just have a really simple, completely empty blank island, which is just filled with trees, flowers, and weeds. Back then, I felt like I was playing an Animal Crossing game. Now, let me explain a little bit because I'm obviously still playing Animal Crossing, but with the way that my island looks now that I've been using the Colin Crossing paths, I've recently felt quite alienated, or maybe the right word is estranged from my own island. I don't really feel like I'm playing Animal Crossing anymore, and I think that a big part of that is basically because of how my island looks. And I wanna say right here that this entire video is absolutely nothing against the Colin Crossing paths. As you guys saw at the start of this video, I have been a fan of Colin's work for so long, and I've used his paths on my island for absolutely ages. But something in my mind right now is telling me that I kind of need to take a step back from that look for a little bit and that's something which we're going to be talking about a little bit more later in this video I think. Because again, when I found Colin's paths I was bloody obsessed and I still am quite a lot of the time. I run around my island and I look at my areas that I've built and I'm like wow, this looks great but again I just don't really feel like I'm playing Animal Crossing. 
Another part of this is also somewhat a little bit to do with performance issues. Um, I don't notice it so much when I'm playing in docked mode, but when I'm playing handheld, I notice a lot of lag on my island and it could be because I have a lot of items, but also I think it's because of the number of custom designs I have on the ground and that is because Colin's paths take up a lot of slots and they have a lot of parts to them, um, unlike say other paths like the path for example. Take a shot every time I say path in this video, but of course only water would be responsible today guys. And so all of this is kind of to say that I desperately want to get my island back to its roots a little bit where it feels much more basic and like I'm playing an Animal Crossing game I really kind of just want to scale everything back. Honestly I was thinking about this earlier today how people complete islands so quickly is beyond me because I have never completed an island before ever you know. If you've seen the last few island tours of my own island that I've put out which are only two I did one last year and then one the year before um I've always said that my island is never gonna be complete and I still stand by that. However, kind of all of this is leading up to what am I gonna do about these feelings that I've got right now? Um, what am I gonna be doing instead of using the Colin Crossing paths? Um, so I actually found these this brick set of paths on Pinterest, um, which I think I'm gonna be using. I'm not 100% sure because I, again, I just want like a smaller, more simple path, which doesn't exactly need so much maintenance. And it's kind of like an all year round path, if that makes sense. Because thinking about it, we're kind of getting up to this point where New Horizons has been out for over two years. Somehow this is still crazy to me. And again, my island will never be complete, but I want it to get to a point where I don't necessarily have to be changing everything every season, you know, to if I, don't feel like it um and also I just I want to get to the point where my island is more or less again not done but structured in a way that I want because I still have half of my island which is literally you know an absolute pigsty there's nothing happening there it's just where I dump stuff so I kind of I want to get rid of that and I basically just want to get to a point of sort of you know 80% completion I guess and speaking of the layout of my island I don't think I'm going to be changing what I've already done all that much again it's mainly going to be changing out the paths and because of how much extra space I'm sort of gonna have in areas now that I won't be using it anymore, kind of filling those areas out with a little bit of decoration, but mainly kind of more natural elements um, and stuff like that, I think. Again, I've not really thought too into it. I'm kind of hopefully planning to fly by the seam of my pants a little bit, but we'll, we'll see when we get to decorating because I, I think I'm gonna be, I'm definitely, let's be real, gonna be filming me decorating the bigger areas on my island. So I think the first area which I'm really craving doing is gonna be my island entrance and then definitely my resident services park. Um, and the kind of last thing which I wanted to touch on, I know this is gonna be a little bit of a short video today, but how am I feeling about all of this overall? Um, and I know that probably sounds like a bit of a weird question to be asking myself, when it's a choice which I am making, but let's unpack it a little bit. Um, to be honest, I'm excited, but again, it's kind of bittersweet. I'll look back really fondly on my Colin Crossing Court Island, um, but I know that it looked best during the autumn and since then, I've just not fully loved the changes which I've made to my island since then. And that was, you know, six months ago. And yes, I know that I could just keep my island you know, through time traveling in autumn, but I am one of the old fashioned people that like to just, you know, I do a bit of time traveling mini for when I'm filming, but I like to just let my island go through the seasons. I like seeing my island change over time and kind of going back to what I was saying earlier, if I can have less maintenance seasonally, which I have to do, that would be ideal. I kind of want to get my island to a point where Say if I didn't play the game for two months and it changed from the end of autumn to the middle of winter, I could boot up my island and it would look good more or less all year round if that makes sense. And 
To be honest, overall though, I'm just really looking forward to trying something new, or I guess like Monster Munch packets say, going back to the new old, I guess. That might be a really niche reference. I wonder if Monster Munch packets said that everywhere else in the world other than the UK. Do you even get Monster Munch anywhere other than the UK? Anyway, thank you so much for listening to my ramblings here. Like I said at the end of my last video, I feel like this has been the part two to a public therapy session, which I think I've desperately needed. Um, it's been really fun just getting my thoughts down and thinking about doing something new and I'm excited to actually try something new. Um, and I hope you guys are excited for what I'm gonna be doing too. Um, but with that said, if you guys have got any thoughts, questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them down below because I would love to hear from you. If you were using the Colin Crossing paths before, are you still using them now? I don't know, let me know. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you again soon.